Good morning everyone and welcome to today's vlog. Today we are doing a bunch of stuff. I have to clean the house today and my husband is working on a project outside um, the front of our yard and I'll show you the project and everything. But he's home today and it's a beautiful day. I am sunburnt from yesterday. Um, this is the day after Memorial Day and we went to a picnic and all that kind of stuff so went outside and got a lot of sun. Um, but that's okay because normally if I just get sunburnt a little bit um, then I tan the rest of the summer. But um, and we, I don't really like sunblock and so we really try to stay away from it. So I try my hardest not to get burned um, and to get a little pink in the beginning of the season and then just work our bodies up to tanning every day, like getting out in the sun and getting used to the sun and then our bodies naturally tan. And then therefore, if we're tan, we usually don't get sunburned. So that's always nice. But anyway, I'm a little sunburned and crispy this morning. Um, it's late morning, so today I really have to go. I got a bunch of laundry here on the floor that I need to put away, clean the kitchen. Um, I need to do some gardening stuff. But today I wanna to show you guys a lot of the stuff that's gonna go, been going on around here. It's been a very, it's been a long time since I've put a vlog up on the channel. And it's just been, it's just been crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take you around our house and property and kind of tell you and show you the different projects that has been that have been going on. Um, so I'm excited to do that. But first, I'm going to do some major cleaning that is, is really needed. So fun stuff. But anyway, so just so you guys get a feel of what my messy house is like and what I have to clean. That's an empty churro or cereal box lovely anyway all this clothes all these clothes are folded but I just need to put them away the table seriously needs to be cleaned um, stuff from breakfast everything there's just a ton of stuff out not put away kitchen's a mess needs to be swept um, I mean it's kind of messy and it's driving me a little crazy but uh, there's piles everywhere this is what happens when you have a week and you're not feeling good I had allergies really bad last week also, I got a cold, and so my house, though some of you may think, well, it's not that bad. Well, it's dirty. It's not just, like the camera doesn't pick up the dirt that's going on in my house and things that need to be cleaned. Um, like the beds need to be changed. The bathrooms are disgusting. Um, just, it's, it's really bad when you only, when you don't have a week or when you skip a week of really deep cleaning your house. <laughs> and not to mention, I, this is a treat, because I never show anyone this, but just to be real with you guys, this is our guest bedroom. Yeah, it's bad. This is all clothes the kids have outgrown or I'm getting rid of, and I have to go through them. It's, it's actually embarrassing, but you know what? This is real life and everyone has real, real homes, and this is what it's like sometimes. When this is all cleaned out, it will be really nice and clean and orderly, but not today. And today is not the day to tackle that, but that'll hopefully be a video coming up is tackling that. But anyway, and then there's my son picking up <laughs> the cardboard. Hey, buddy. You say hi. This is Jonathan. Yeah. Anyway, that's kind of what I got going on today. And then at some point I want to get outside and get gardening and all that lovely stuff, but we'll see what we get to today. All right, so over here I just made some laundry soap, or a batch of it. I grated soap, baking soda, and super washing soda with some salt. And then I put essential oils in there, mix it up, and that's how I make my laundry soap. And this will get us probably through for two months. I made an extra big batch, but that's what I'm doing over here. We are all out of laundry soap, so. That is what I'm doing right now. So I went ahead and added essential oils. I did tangerine and lemon. And then I like to mix it with a whisk because it gets all the clumps of the baking soda out as well as the super washing soda. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick and then it will be ready to put in containers and use. Thank you. 
This stuff smells so heavenly. Oh. All right, so I was able to finally clean up the kitchen. It looks so much better. I still have to sweep. Still gotta put the clothes away, but there's a lot less stuff cluttered, which is nice. The hallway's clear, the bedrooms are clean. A lot of everything was picked up. Now I still got some piles of stuff here and there and on the table to put away, but it's looking so much better in here. So anyway, that's that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what like projects we're doing outside and a couple other things that I'll just show you what's been going on around here. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's go do that. All right, so outside here, right off the porch, we've got strawberries growing, which is kind of cool. There's a bowl on there. It's kind of messy out here. I need to pick up the kids' toys and these mats here are really, gonna, they're gonna go in the our garden down over yonder, but our strawberries here are doing really good for the first year. I'm gonna get a few little berries here and there, but nothing too crazy. But some of them are blossoming. I've got some actual strawberries over here, as you can see. So those are ripening. That'll be fun and exciting. We've got rhubarb way over there. Every year we get lots of it, which is nice. And then my husband for Mother's Day bought me these flowers, which is awesome. They're so pretty. We also have, don't mind the big thing of cardboard we're burning today. We've got kittens and mama kitten, mama cat over here. She's got her babies. They are just under a month old. So it's getting time to start them on regular food and Another month or month, yeah, another month and a week or so. We're gonna start getting them ready to sell, so find new homes for them. But they are barn cats, so they've been outside their entire lives so far. <clears throat> and that's how I like to have it, because barn cats are great, they're really great mouse mousers, and for people who don't want animals in the house, they're really awesome. So, out here, again, we've got stuff everywhere projects outside but down over here there's the garden which we'll go to in a minute and this is what Josiah is working on so this will be an arbor he's recreating our wedding arbor and it's right over our driveway so it'll be kind of cool so we also went ahead and last last fall I believe we took all the flower beds that were right here they were full of cacti and things that just we weren't really interested in. So we decided to take them all out. And future project will probably be um, like putting raised beds here, but we're not sure yet. But we wanna put some sod and make it a little bit nicer. Um, if we do end up keeping this, buying this house someday or something like that, we wanna do a wraparound porch, which would be really nice and that wouldn't. That would change, but anyway, we also dug up a bunch of bushes that were really ugly, and so everything looks a lot better. We really need to mow too, but that was a project that we got done. Over here, we had a big stump um, that we just burned. Um, as you can see, there's holes everywhere from the roots being burned up, and we just didn't want it here anymore. So hopefully, once it's done smoldering and bringing up all the rest of the roots will cover it up and level it out but that was kind of an interesting project for sure and over here we've got some lilac bushes um, that we're gonna be planting here and over there just right along our driveway which will be really pretty when they get bigger or as they get bigger and then over here Josiah is working on the arbor
Also over here, Josiah redid our mailbox. And he stained it uh, a really pretty like red color. And a bigger mailbox. The one we had was kind of falling apart. And so this is really cool. And the cross that was over here in this stump, we just refinished it and redid it and then put it in here and made it our mailbox stand, which was kind of fun. But lots of different changes going around over here. But so far this is the biggest change that's going on. All right, so down here is the garden, right over here. So we're gonna go down there and I'll show you what we planted so far. and I tried to cover some of it with plastic because I didn't want a ton of weeds coming up which already are starting to happen. It's already starting to happen. But I've got some tomato plants here that I'm gonna plant. I didn't want to do too many of them because just our garden is not very big. But we got tomato plants so I'm gonna plant those. And then we have potatoes here. I've got three rows of potatoes. We have onions over here. This is gonna be where I'm planting the corn along that area, which would be really nice. And then I've got some squash plants that really need to be watered right now because they look really sad, but anyway. Then I've got peas over here, basil planted over there. This is gonna be where the tomatoes are planted. I'm gonna do some bell peppers. I've got carrots and onions over here and then the rest I still have yet to plant so that's something I'm really gonna have to get boogie in on but anyway that's the garden and it's still got a lot of work to do on it all right so I put almost all the laundry away the only thing I have left is our clothes so I'm gonna put those away um, and then after that, I'm going to prep some dinner. I gotta cut the eggs. We're having chef salads and smoothies. So it's really hot outside, so we don't really wanna cook a whole lot. And so I try to make really easy meals, like salads and things with fruits and vegetables, um, and then meats that have been previously cooked um, because it's just too hot to cook. So um, it makes it easy. But lots of vegetables in the summertime and lots of fruit. Um, which is always nice and I always feel better when I eat that way. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these away. So before I prep dinner, I'm going to go ahead and make our bed. It needs, The sheets need to be changed and so I'm going to put new sheets on there and then I'm going to go ahead and actually change or put new sheets on my kids' beds. Clean sheets anyway. So I'm going to put all clean sheets on the beds real quick. Alright, so our bed is made and so is Kyla's bed. Okay, there it is. There we go. I don't know why it's doing that. Anyway, her bed's made, and so is Judas and Jonathan's. Looks good. All right, so we ate dinner. Actually, I'm still eating mine. Uh, we got dressed, and we are headed to a 
young couples um, book discussion study. Yeah. We're studying the, uh, we're reading this book about the differences in men and women, and on a from a biblical about um, purpose or perspective. Anyway, so it's been really fun and inter entertaining too. But that's where we're headed, and then we got the kids in tow. And so I'm gonna go do that, and then we'll come home and get the kids ready for bed. So we are back home. It's like almost 11 o'clock. <laughs> um, we just put the kids to bed. It was a really good time. Lots of discussion and talking with friends and it was just really nice fellowship time and so it was really good. But we are home and I'm gonna go take a shower, get ready for bed and slip into bed. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, Actually, my youngest was up last night for like an hour and wouldn't go to sleep and it was just being really difficult. So anyway, hopefully tonight he will get lots of sleep. <sighs> that is the hope anyway. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, not a whole lot going on, but I mean, you know, doing stuff here and there and updating you guys on all this stuff going on in our house. and yard and life right now but um so yeah anyway but i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here and um get ready for bed because i'm tired and need to put more stuff on my sunburn but anyway if you guys are interested in what i do for sunburns and like skincare in the summertime i can do a video uh, for that but i was thinking of somebody doing something like a, I don't know, a small video on skincare in the summertime and sunburns and sunscreen and all that because we, we usually really don't use a whole lot of sunscreen and the only time we really do is if it's really really intense outside and I really only do it for my babies because their skin's so so soft but anyway so I'm gonna go take care of my skin and get ready for bed go to bed so See you guys in our next video. Bye.